Hello, and welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G on WSCS Sheboygan. I'm so honored and privileged to be here and to help you on your journey. So <clears throat> my name is Tony Green. I am a psychic medium, but more than that, I'm a channel. So I use the term psychic medium because that's what everybody's familiar with. People really aren't familiar with what a channel is. And a channel is someone who kind of, in computer speak, downloads information through them for you. So one of the things I always tell people is when you ask me a question, the information comes in through me and kind of comes right out of my mouth. Good, bad, or indifferent, that's just the way it happens, always. Sometimes you love the information, sometimes you don't, sometimes you know it's information you need, but uh, you, you're not ready for. Sometimes the timelines can be a little bit off because up there, the angels and the all that is, they really don't have a timeline the way we do. So I do the best I can to do the best I can for you and give you the information that you need and you want to help you on your path here. Our path here can be sometimes a little bit challenging if our energy is not high, if we're not going with the flow of the universe, if we feel like we're lost or making a choice that isn't in our best interest, or we have two choices in front of us and we don't know which one to make. It can be very, very daunting. So to have somebody who can help you with those decisions, somebody who can say, if you do this, you'll end up here. If you do that, you'll end up there, is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I never take credit for my work because it doesn't come from me personally. It all comes from above 100%. If I do interject and I do start talking, if I put my two cents in, I try to say, okay, this is me, not them. <laughs> and you'll know because the verbiage changes. 100% <laughs> it changes. So. I'm gonna do the best I can to do the best I can for you. Now, after this show, I'll be recording another show, Create a Life You Love with Manny Wolf, a branding expert. So please stay tuned on Facebook um, for that show. And before I get started with questions, I just wanna share this with you again. This is my so far favorite, favorite book, What If? A transformational guide and one of the reasons this is my favorite book is because so many people have um, emailed me called me and told me how much this this book has opened their perception of life and what life can be all the possibilities that are out there reality is not what you I, I want to say re, reality is a perception that's why so many people have so many different realities, because we all have different perceptions of what's going on in this world. And when we open those realities and those perceptions, magic happens. You create miracles for yourself, and in creating miracles for yourself, you create them for others. The other book I'd like to talk about today, and I'm really horrible about self-promotion, and everybody knows this, is this. I love this book so much. <laughs> channeled Messages from Above, which are um, channeled messages and poems from the angels for you. Now, both of these books were channeled. They're both available on Amazon.com. If you're on Blog Talk right now, you can click that link after my show that will take you to all of my books. If you're not on Blog Talk, well, get on Blog Talk and start following me. If you're watching me on, uh, or listening or watching on Facebook or another venue, then you can go to amazon.com, pop in my name with the title of either of these books and everything of mine should just pop up beautifully. Now, I'm gonna go to questions and callers. This show is based on callers. I don't know who they are. I don't have their name. I just say they're the area code of their phone number. They get to ask a question and or connect with a loved one. 
And I ask that we keep it to one question because many people try to get through and they try to get through for months. So I'm gonna to go to the very, very, very first person who got through on the lines this morning and that's 270. 270, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing amazing, thank this you so much George. for asking. How can, where are you calling from, what's your name? Joy, and I'm calling from Kentucky. Oh, I love Kentucky. Oh my gosh, I love Kentucky. I was there, I think, twice, and both times were just splendid. Splendid. I can't wait to come there and do an event. Okay, what's your question or connection today? I would like to connect to my grandmother. Okay, just one second. I'm moving a mic on my phone for you. Okay, you want to connect to your grandmother, and I'm sorry, what was her name? Manny. Manny. Okay. Okay, the first person walking in is a little bit, I don't like to use this term when dis describing women, but um, she's a little thicker, or she was a very full-figured woman. Is this accurate? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We got her. She's walking right in. I see her very clearly. The first message she wants to give you is that, um, oh gosh, they're, they're coming a lot. She's like happy to be here, and she's blurbing out all of these things, so I'm going to try to get them through to you as quickly as she is speaking, but I'm going to ask her also to slow down because she can talk. She was a talker, wasn't she? <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, the first thing she wants to say to you is uh, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. Everything is happening as it's supposed to. She also wants to let you know she loves you, we love you, we love you, meaning everybody up here is, there is so much love for you. You're not acknowledging all of that love that they're trying to send down to you. Um, so she wants to say please acknowledge this love and allow yourself to be immersed in it. So one of the suggestions she's giving is you spend at least two minutes every morning and or every evening and just feel their love. And all you have to do is close your eyes, take a slow deep breath in, focus on her first, and then just breathe. And let that feeling come into you. Let that feeling take you over. You will be probably brought to tears is what I'm showing. And um, also she wants you to know pretty soon your, if your vision is not already open, it's gonna be open very soon. So you're gonna start seeing little things here and there um, from the other side. Um, okay. you, are all, all, you are already a little bit intuitive as far as you get that like, oh, don't go there, ooh walk away from that person, uh -huh. you get that. You need to hone into that a little bit more. You need to own that like you own your, your, your hair. I don't know. You need to own it, right? You need to just own that. You need to, you just need to own that and you need to play with it. Now, when people are opening up um, or starting to play, to use their spiritual gifts, I always say, play, play, play. Do not take it seriously. The more serious you take it, the, the more difficult it's going to be. Those higher levels of energy, those vibrational levels of higher energy are all about love and playing. And a lot of times people want to argue with me about this, and I say, bring the argument, but but be a good loser, okay? <laughs> you can bring your argument, but be a good loser because the angels are gonna tell you where they are, it's pure love. And you have to be in that happiness and that love to, to connect quickly and soundly and beautifully to that, okay? So that she also wants you to do that. And she says, don't be afraid of what's coming. You're gonna have a hiccup. Um, about a month down the line. This is a course correction. I think it's a financial hiccup. And she wants you to know you're, uh, you need to 
look at where you're putting your money and why you're putting it there. So do the 24 hour thing before you spend money. Take 24 hours to think about it. You'll be amazed at how much money you spend, especially in about um, three weeks, three weeks to six weeks. In between the three and six week mark, make that your mantra, okay? Perfect. Okay. I'm so happy that you called in today. Was this helpful? Yes, it is, and I look forward to it. <laughs> I'm so happy for that. Please continue to stay on the line because I'm going to be doing some, some clearings, and I want you to be part of the clearings I'm going to be doing. And I want you to know that she is saying again, we love you, embrace it, accept it. And she's letting you know uh, you're going to be seeing her soon, but not because you're going up there, but because she's <laughs> <laughs> but because she's going to be following you uh, or joining you in a dream very soon. I don't know if you'll recall the dream when you wake up. <laughs> she's coming to you. You are not going to her. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Okay. Um, with much love and blessings, thank you again for calling in and make you, it a miraculous you, week, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Okay. Next, I am going to go to caller 520. Hello, 520. How are you today? Oh, hi. I'm just listening. Thank you. Excellent. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, I'm just listening. Thank you. Oh, okay, because you have the, you pushed one, which means you would want to ask a question, but I will let you continue listening. Thank you so much. So, guys, if you pushed one, that means that you want to come on air live with me. If you don't want to be on air live with me, un do that. But thank you for listening. I just love you for, for taking the time to listen to my show. That's beautiful. Next, we are going to go to caller 504. Hello, 504. How are you? Hello? 504, are you, are you there? Okay. Okay. We are going to go to 678 next. Hello, 678. How are you? Hello. Good. Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Sonia, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hello, Sonia. I love Georgia, too. I do. Georgia is such a beautiful, beautiful state. So, how can I help you today? Um, I'm calling to see if a loved one is coming through for me. Okay, I need a first name and a relationship of the loved one you want to connect with. James. And he's my ex-husband. Okay, so instantly, now I'm going to tell you this. Uh, the first person that comes through is, um, the, I don't know if this is James, but it's the first person I'm seeing. The, fir the first person before you told me the name was a very thin guy, very, very thin guy. And he's like, show, I think this is, uh, he may have lost a lot of weight because he's wearing a suit that's too big for him. Is this James or is this uh, somebody else that you know who lost a lot of weight in the end? Yes, it might be. It might be James? Yes. Okay, so I want to double check that because I want to make, well, the first thing this person is saying, and I'm going to assume it's James because we're, we're, we're on, uh, because he's the first person that walked through. So the first thing he's saying is he's sorry. Um, he's acknowledging that he didn't treat you right or the way you should have been treated. He's also saying that he did a lot of, he was shady. 
<laughs> is this James? Let's confirm now. Is this James coming through? <laughs> Okay, so he's acknowledging that he was not always as good to you as he could be, and that's putting it lightly. He should have been a better man. He should have had a better plan, but he was always like trying to be one step ahead, always. I need to ask you something, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, because based on what he's saying, I'm getting some information here, and it's leading me personally to a conclusion. Was he, uh, did he kind of try to game the system, or did he kind of try to, uh, did he sometimes do things that were, let's just say, above the law? <laughs> Yes. Okay, this is James. Because <laughs> one of the things I am getting, thank you for confirming that, because one of the things I'm getting is he's saying he was always, you know, he, he kind of tried to scheme things or be a little bit shady. He was always trying to run a game or something. Like, all those terms lead me to that conclusion. But the most important thing that he wants to say to you today is that he is truly, truly... Truly sorry for the hurt or and or the pain that he caused you. He wants you to know that he is reckoning that. That's the word. That's his word, not mine. He is reckoning that or fixing it. He's going to bring you a gift within six months. It will probably be closer to the six-month mark. He's going to bring you a gift. It's uh, more of a... I want to say it's more of a spiritual gift than a physical gift. He's going to bring you um, something or someone. Now, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure exactly what that means or how that uh, works, but that's what he's saying. Um, and it's supposed to be a surprise, so even if I knew, I wouldn't be able to tell you, so I'm really sorry about that. But I'm not sorry because I love surprises. I'm that girl. Um, he also wants to tell you he, he's trying to reckon thing, he's reckoning things and he's trying to fix things. And he wants you to know that he is fixing his past with you. Does that make sense to you? 16, could you repeat that? He is fixing like with an F, like Frank, fixing his past with you. So he's trying to fix things. He's trying to repair any damage that he has done. Does that make sense? He is. Okay. He's in the process of doing that. And as a matter of fact, I, I'm just, for you, everybody listening, everybody who re-listens, and I recommend that if this is something that affects you, you re-listen to this show until you feel like it's completely cleared. But um, I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna start clearing abuse right now. Because, you know, as women and, and men, and men, please don't, please don't send me nasty emails, women and men, um, there's a lot of abuse in society. and. What people knew in the past is not what we know now. So people were just doing what they knew to do at that time. They didn't know better. So I'm just going to say um, all abuse has been cleared. No. So I'm going to start clearing that. I'm not the angels are. The Holy Spirit's going to come in and start clearing this for you and anybody else that feels like they need this. And, and of course, I feel it like it's, it's going up and out the right side for me. How it will clear for you might be completely different. But I am going to say that uh, by tomorrow, you should feel better. And oh, within that six-month mark, you should feel amazing. I want you to re-listen to this a couple of times just to get in that place where you know that it has been cleared. Now, when, we've, when we end up in a situation with some abuse, it's usually a pattern from earlier on. So clearing it now 
is a beautiful thing and it stops it from coming in in the future. And he's saying, he didn't tell you enough how beautiful you are and how amazing you are and what a wonderful woman you were for him. And um, he regrets, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> He regrets not treating you better and treating you like the queen that you are and don't settle, don't, <clears throat> don't settle for less than that. If, if, don't ever let anybody in your life again that isn't 100% treating you like the queen that you are, okay? <clears throat> okay. I wanna thank you so much. I. Personally, I'm going to start crying, <laughs> full-on crying if I stay on this call much longer. <laughs> so I am going to say thank you so much for calling in today. Please um, please know that you are so loved and you are this, just this brilliant, beautiful, amazing person. And do not let anybody ever say anything or treat you any differently than that. Okay, love? Okay, thank you so much. You are so welcome. Have an amazing, an amazing day, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I am going to go to the next caller, and I'm going to go to, uh, let's do 407. Hello, 407. How are you today? Hi, Tony. This is Lori, and I'm calling from Central Florida. Doing real good. Thank you. Excellent. Florida is my favorite destination. I, I want to buy locate with Florida. <laughs> so how can I help you today? Yeah, Tony, I have, um, okay, I'm a writer. I've been writing for years, and there have been about four or five people, which are uh, Sherry, Amy, Robert, and Anna, who have all been um, stealing from me, exploiting my writing, um, rewriting my phones, plagiarizing, you name it, they've done it. I have done everything within my power to get my content recognized as my own, and the next step is getting monetized. I'm not looking back. The money that they made, you know, God bless them. I just want my own my own money. Do you see the things that I have done being effective to get this to all turn itself around? Yes. And one of the things that um, I'm getting for you, so I started clearing that. I want you to know that first and foremost. I started clearing um, people taking your stuff, you, you're, um, you're very open, you're very giving, you have an open heart, but you don't know how to protect yourself or your content. And if I test that, she knows how to protect herself, no, she knows how to protect her content. So we're gonna clear all of that now. We're gonna just start, and again, and, and to protect, she, know, she knows how, just to protect yourself is most importantly, your content is part of who you are. So one of the things when I'm writing, I sit down and I write, and until, until I put it out there, nobody knows about it. Um, so that's one thing I'm gonna recommend for you, even though I know that you've been dealing with this for some time. I feel like everything that you're working on and everything you're doing now is going to come to fruition. And again, uh, the past needs to be the past, let it go and allow yourself to move forward with grace and dignity. Rise above. So if you keep building your energy and your amount of love for yourself, and you keep building who you are as a person, you are going to be just in this very, very magnificent spot, and everything's going to come to fruition. I just want to say what I said at the beginning of the show. My next show, Create a Life You Love, that I'm recording today, has uh, Manny Wolf, 
who is a branding expert. And I, I want you to see how that resonates with you. He's very good. Um, it, I think it might end up being going on Facebook at the same time we're recording, but if not, it should be on my website in a couple of days, and you can uh, get, get it there, the, the show. Um, I feel like you're, very, you're a very strong person, and you really, really, really just need to take a hold of everything you're doing and protect it like it's a puppy, okay? Okay. And yes, everything is gonna come together and be absolutely beautiful for you. Don't quit writing. You have endless things uh, you can write about, so just keep doing it. And find out how to code your stuff so people can't copy and paste it. That's, that's the other message I'm getting for you. I hope you have an absolutely magnificent and miraculous week, and I want to thank you for calling in. I want to thank everybody for calling in. Remember, I do messages from above with Tony G on Blog Talk every Monday at noon, and you can join me there, and it will be, it's just like this. It's just amazing and beautiful without the cameras, though, and I kind of like the cameras, and I love my WSCS Sheboygan crew. They're, they are the most amazing. Um, so if you want to watch this show, if you've been listening to this show and you want to watch it, uh, you can go to WSCSSheboygan.com and put in Tony, T-O-N-I-G, and you'll be able to watch this show, which is kind of fun to do. Um, I will be back with psychic medium Tony G for another episode next month. Until then, keep creating miracles. Keep, keep making magic in your life. Thank you, and have a great week.